Hi everyone, this is Miss Katya, and this week we're going to learn a little more about colors. So I wanted to show you a color wheel that has our primary colors and secondary colors. So let's talk, let's remember what our primary colors are. It's blue, yellow, and red. So there are only three primary colors, but if you only have those three colors, you can make the rest of the colors that are on this wheel and that are on most of the rainbows. So the colors that we can make are called secondary colors. And this is purple, green, and orange. And you can see there's red and blue, and in between of them is purple. So this is how you make purple. You mix red and blue. And then when you mix blue and yellow, you get green. And when you mix yellow and red, you get orange. So this is how a color wheel works. And we're gonna make one using some construction paper. So we're gonna make a color wheel pizza today. And we're gonna use all six colors, like a, um, a basic color wheel. So we're gonna need some color construction paper. We're gonna need purple, orange, red, yellow, blue, and green. We're also going to need just some basic white paper, a glue stick, pencil, and some scissors. So we're going to start by drawing a triangle on any of the, you can start with any of the colors. I started with my orange and you can, I think you can see. So don't make very big triangles, make maybe four inches on each side, about four inches. And I made one side, you can see, slightly rounded because we want to make it a little, when, it, when they all come together, they're going to make a big circle. So try and make one side a little rounded. You don't have to, but it looks nicer. So you're going to have to make six circles of all the six colors that are in our color wheel. So we're going to need yellow, red, and blue, which are our primary colors. We're also going to need orange, purple, and green. And you can see they're about the same size. And when you got all the six triangles, we're going to place them and see if they fit together. So we're going to start by using primary colors, which is red, blue, and yellow. And you can put them so they have space in between of them because where they have the space, we're going to put the colors that they make together. So yellow and red make what color? Orange. So orange goes in here. Red and blue make purple. So purple goes in here. And we can kind of move them around a little so they fit better. And yellow and blue make green. So green goes in here. So we got all six colors, which is green, yellow, orange, red, purple, and blue. And now all you have to do is use a glue stick and put some glue in the back and glue them all together so they make a color wheel pizza. I think it looks like a pizza. It's not perfect, but it's pretty nice. It's got all six colors, six slices. So have fun and maybe decorate it. Put some of your favorite toppings, maybe some mushrooms or pepperoni or tomatoes, anything you like on your pizza. So have fun. So a lot of people also think that colors make them feel certain feelings. Like most people think that yellow is a happy color. Yellow is an exciting color. And um, green is a very calm, pleasant color, relaxing color. And then blue, a lot of times people will say, I'm feeling blue, meaning I'm feeling sad. So a lot of people think that blue is a sad, calm color. And then red, a lot of people think that red is an angry color, very passionate color. But in different cultures and just different people sometimes disagree. Not everybody thinks that red is an angry color and not everybody thinks that um, blue is a sad color. So it's all different for all of us.
Next, we're going to make an emoji flower. We're going to use all of our color wheel colors, and we're going to talk about different colors and different feelings or emotions. So we're going to need just some white paper, a pencil, something to trace your circles with, and then you can choose, you can use crayons, you can use markers or paint to color your circles. So first we're going to make seven circles, one in the middle and six around it. And you can see that I've already made six circles, one in the middle and five around it. So I just need to make one more circle. So I'm just going to trace it and that's going to be six circles and one in the middle. And you can make the one in the middle a little larger than the other ones because it's easier to uh, draw them around it if it's a little bigger than the rest of the circles. So I'm just going to circle this one. Let's see if it's placed right. Circle it. And then we're going to color it. And remember, we will, it's best to start with our primary colors and then add some secondary colors. And our primary colors are red, yellow. So when we color, we skip one in between because that's where our um, secondary color is going to be. And blue. So red, yellow, and blue are our primary colors. And then we're going to add yellow, I mean orange, green, and purple. So um, yellow and red make orange, yellow and blue make green, and blue and red make purple. So here's my complete one that I colored. It has red, yellow, blue, and then in between them it's purple, orange, and green. So the colors in between primary colors are called secondary colors because if you don't have them in your palette, you can make them using just two of primary colors. So next we can also your um, circle in the middle, you can color it any way you want to. You can give it some patterns or you can make it rainbow colors or just color it your favorite color. It can be anything you want. It can be pink. So next, let's talk about colors and emotions. And I know Miss Rochelle talked to you about it already, but let's remind ourselves. So I think, when I think of red, I think of um, feel, feelings like mad, angry, upset. So I made a, an angry face. And then yellow seems like a happy color, so I made a happy face. And then blue, our next primary color, People usually say, I'm feeling blue when they feel sad, so I made it a sad face. Um, then I thought, what about green? How does green seem to you? What kind of a color is it? And it's up to you. None of it has to be, you know, blue doesn't have to be sad. It might be a happy color for you. And then maybe green is a sad color. But for me, green is a calm color. And then we have two more colors left which is orange and purple and I leave it up to you to decide what is going to be orange and purple emoji. Um, you can make it anything, just try not to repeat to the same faces that we already have and have fun. And let's talk about our next project. And today I wanted to talk to you about another amazing artist whose name is Vasily Kundinsky. And he was born in Russia and he was an abstract painter. I hope you remember what abstract painting is. An abstract painting doesn't really show us anything from real life. It doesn't have a picture of a cow or a person or anything that we can easily recognize. It's more about shapes and colors and it's when an artist tries to express their feelings. So let's look at this painting. 
This is uh, Vasily Kandinsky, and this is a very large painting. And he had the theory that colors um, were also emotions, right? And also when he listened to music, he said that he saw colors. And when he um, heard high notes, he thought and saw colors that were light, like pink, uh, yellow, even red or white. And when we, uh, he, when he heard um, deeper notes, lower notes, he saw colors like purple, green, and blue and black, meaning um, darker colors. So when we look at his paintings, we can try and imagine what kind of sounds he was hearing when he was painting. And we can kind of also, you know, just think of our own um, feelings when we see this painting. So there's a lot of white and blue, lots of black lines, some little blue lines that look like flying birds. There's a something that looks like a, a rainbow. So it's a very colorful painting that also has a lot of movement. And that's another way that it's sort of like music. Because when we hear music, we hear some movement. It makes us want to dance or move around. So let's look at another painting by Vasily Kandinsky. So this one is very different. It has a lot of black in it. And it's all made out of circles of different size and different color. And um, there's some of them are very close together. Some are apart. So they're also creating a movement and lots of different colors. So we can also think of different emotions and different sounds that uh, he heard. This one is also very different. Lots of pink, lots of lines, things that look like triangles, circles, maybe another rainbow. And try and imagine what sounds he could hear and try and think what feelings you get from this painting. This one is very different. It doesn't have any black really, and no sharp lines. It's very soft. It's mostly like fields of colors, lots of primary colors and green color, which is a secondary color. So look at it and imagine what sounds or feelings you can get from it. And let's move on to another painting. This one is a big one. It has many different colors, lots of yellow and purple lots of black lines, some of them are straight, some are like little circles, some are really squiggly. So there's also a lot of movement. To me, they seem like they're floating, almost like in the sky. So also think about the sounds and emotions that this painting has and things that it might remind you of. This is the last painting I wanna show you and it's, to me, it's the busiest one that has the most colors and shapes. Um, it has black, white, blue, red, orange, yellow, pink, purple, almost all the colors that I can think of. And it has many, many different shapes and lots and lots of movements. So maybe he was listening to something like an orchestra playing with many, many different instruments and different sounds. Maybe it was a long piece. That's why this painting is so busy. So try and think and imagine what kind of a music was he listening to. And uh, for our last project, I want to make a painting uh, while you listen to music. So think of music that you want to listen to and paint to it and try and see what you can make. Maybe you'll make something that looks a little bit like Kandinsky painting. So our last project for this week is about Kandinsky and you can see a copy of his artwork and this is going to be just kind of like a free draw. I want you to try and listen to your favorite piece of music or just some new music and maybe first close your eyes and think about what you can see when you listen to this music and just draw anything that it looks like to you, you know, just think of shapes and colors and you can use, I encourage you to use some paint and maybe some crayons 
but you can use anything that you like. Just try and fill out the whole page and use many colors and really listen to music and try to come up with your very own, very different painting and have a lot of fun. I'll hope to see you all very soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.